move on into the tight ends though bz and we are starting here with really back end tight end one uh, upper echelon tight end two here with cole Komet at tight end 12 noah fant tight end 13 albert o tight end 14 and irv smith coming in at tight end 15 d bro we're gonna kick it to you again man let's just start off let me hear the process i mean run it down go go through each one starting starting with the guy who who you're gonna go ahead and run up to the podium <sighs> and smash here when you're on the clock there's an inner battle fellas there's inner turmoil um indigestion i don't feel good about having to choose between both of these guys are basically <laughs> like sons to me um but we have to make a choice Cole Komet's the guy that I'll take out of the top uh, for any one of these guys. Uh, one, you go to contract. He's still got some years in rookie deal. He's still going to be able to grow with Justin Fields. He's only competing with targets for Darnell Mooney. And the other thing about it is we saw all the usage numbers were there for Komet last year. He was top 12 in damn near everything you can point to. He was top 12 in target share. He was top 12 in reception, receiving arts. The only thing he didn't do was score touchdowns. He had zero! If he didn't score touchdowns, he wouldn't even be on this list. If he had gotten into the end zone five or six times, he would have been sniffing close to top 10, top 12 tight end ranking last year. And he wouldn't even be this low. People wouldn't even be talking about, like, you would not see him rank this low in Dynasty if that would have happened. So he's the guy I'm going to go with over the rest of this field and it is not because I don't love Irv Smith. I am still on the hashtag Let Irv Swerve movement.